So it seems like today we're going to be reviewing another Crayola, Crayola. product. You know what that means? I guess the review's over. I'm just joking! <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. It's very likely though that that's what's gonna happen. Oh Crayola, why do you make me treat you this way? Do you think I want this? You're making me do this. Before we begin, yes, there's a feather on my face from hanging out with my parrot. And yes, there's a red spot on my neck because when I'm stressed during exam season, I do break out. So let's just get over that. And so this week's craft kit under review is Crayola's Art Marker Spray. As it says, airbrush like a pro. Never airbrushed before, so I expect great things. One of the things that caught my attention online is this picture of a really cool dragon that's super well airbrushed. And we're getting this cool gradient and, and just clean lines. So I want clean lines. On Amazon, this kit costs $20 Canadian, or I don't know why, but in the US, it's about $28 US. That is one expensive crap kit. Wait, we don't know yet. Salty crafters, stay inside for now. We don't need you just yet. So for this price, I do really hope that it does deliver. This week, I want to shout out a couple of extra people because you grains really make me laugh. To the two people who redrew Banana-sama, one Ketsueki one, and a little bit of Ev Dot Thing. Also, the drawing by Voila Sam just made me laugh, so that that had to be included. If you want a shout out in my normally Friday videos, don't forget to hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below within the first 45 minutes of a video's release, or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Instagram or Twitter anytime with any of your creations. Time to see what we get inside. what we get inside. The electric machine pumping thing. Five markers. They're pretty tiny. They're the, the pip squeaks. An adapter. Two stencils. One in the alphabets. And the other one that comes in a kind of Ferrari horse. Sun, feather, dragon, and miscellaneous. We also get five Five? No, I didn't count. We get some printing paper, paper quality. Not even the cardboard stuff. And we get the instructional manual, which I'm going to read and uh, learn how to use this thing. So the first thing we want to do is swatch these colors to know what they really look like in their truest of pure forms. Just like wee grains of salt come in all different shapes and sizes and colors. I wanna make sure that these ones are juicy first. What? Did I just say grains are juicy? If you're a grain, you're juicy. You like all that tea. <laughs> so let's start with grasshopper green, pretty similar to the cap. Tiny plum, plummy, canary yellow, blue jay, and lastly cherry red. So, so far these colors seem pretty juicy, so there's no excuse for them to not work at all. Right off the bat, there is quite a bit of disappointment in the instructions, because if you look here, all it says is put the marker in and press the button. There's nothing in terms of teaching or learning, teaching from their part and learning from yours. So they're not really telling you how you can mix the colors, or if there's going to be any residue on the inside, or how to properly even airbrush when you're trying to do a gradient. Especially on the box here, it says 8 plus. You should be starting to teach people techniques at that point. All right, so here's our machine, and I'm curious to know if it's actually one of the markers is gone. Gone, gone. Why'd you leave me? Why? My heart. I'm curious to know whether it's going to be noisy because that crayon melter was pretty quiet. So let's turn the button. Oh, see you later, paper. I'm, I'm not moving this. It's headed out on its own. <laughs> Where are you going? All right, so we're going to get one of the markers in. So we're supposed to push it inside and then twist until it can't move anymore and twist. So now it's locked in. Immediately, I can tell you there's no way that you can gauge the spray width. So you only get one kind of spray. I guess it'll depend on how high and low you are from your sheet, but we'll test that out. This cord is really annoying. I'm gonna have to bring it this way. All right, so it has to be on your right side if you're right-handed. Oh, that is juicy. That is pretty precise. I'm pretty impressed. I have a headache now, but uh, this whole vibration thing is a little too much. And it hasn't bled through the paper just yet. So here's a close-up. There's a lot of splashing, but at the same time, it's not bad for a kid's spray paint. So far, it's good. Let's try the other colors. I'm going to put the yellow in right away, just so that we can see if there's any contamination on the inside, which seems like there is, but let's put that in here. So as you can see, there's a lot of contamination. So you're gonna have to waste some of your marker before you can clean it up. Unless you don't mind this effect. 
Oh no, grains. Oh no. Did we just ruin a marker? It seems that it's still okay. This ain't pretty. They do mention that we can clean the inside, but they don't give us any kind of cleaning tools. So you're kind of gonna have to stuff a napkin in there and twist that stuff. All right, time to get rid of this over here. And I want to make a whole piece of artwork with this kit. The issue is we're only getting five colors and really nothing to inspire me to make an actual project. I mean, there's this dragon, but I don't get to see the whole sheet of paper. So I'm going to try and make a galaxy with some stars and hope Fully a dragon in the galaxy. So as I decided to work on this piece, I really wanted to make a dragon in space or, or in the galaxy. But then I figured there's just way too much white paper space, so I went ahead and decided to do two dragons. As you can see, the first one that I'm doing is kind of sloppy. There's a lot of edges that are kind of leaking on the outside of the stencil, but I was really comfortable holding it. There wasn't any kind of annoyance. The only thing that really was annoying and it just kept coming back was that sound. Let, let's listen to that again. But then as I was doing the second dragon, I felt a lot more comfortable and a lot more confident using the stencil, the little piece, and the machine. The trigger really was easy to push so my finger wasn't in any kind of pain. And so I kept going back and forth and adding stuff and then I wanted to add little stars and I'm like, well, the middle of this piece is kind of empty. So I figured I would put an insignia in there. I think this piece deserves to be called Todoroki in space. If you know the reference, you get a cookie. If you don't know the reference, that's okay. I still love you. trial and the finished piece. Let's go over there and have the chat. Time to find out, is this kit worth it? If you're new on Salty Crafter, we here are all grains, part of a salt shaker family. We love to start with the cons because that's what fuels our energy. We don't do energy drinks, trash, vitamins, trash. Take your vitamins if you need them, by the way. But when it comes to salt, um, nom nom nom. So let's go ahead and start with the first con. We can't regulate the spray width. That can be a kind of minus or, or plus depending if you're experienced or not. I haven't really used an air spray before, but for me that seemed like a minus. It's noisy. Let's hear that. Can't add to anything to that except that it's it's like nonstop. The stencils with letters seems very generic and uninspired. They could have come up with better shapes than just letters and numbers because let, let's be real here, almost no one uses that. There are no actual instructions other than the fact that it says put the marker inside and press the button. They don't really teach you any kind of technique. They only give you cheap printer paper. I feel like if you're going to give us something to do really cool projects with, at least give us a paper that is slightly thicker. I don't know, I'm just saying. We did get some color contamination and they didn't give us anything to really clean the inside. Like I wanna get in there and clean it up and the paper towel thing just didn't work cause it wasn't swiveling when I got it inside. So give me something to clean it with in case I want clean colors. We only get five colors. I mean, I know it's 20 bucks and the machine is worth quite a bit, but the machine is fully plastic. So I really would have loved to see more colors, especially when it comes to con number nine. They're tiny. I mean, look at them. They're so cute, but no, they are not cute if they are for a kit. Give me full colors. Give me full colors. Believe it or not, that's, that's all I have for the cons. On to the pros. The colors are pretty vibrant. I mean, this is Crayola's thing, right? Crayons and colors. When they venture into other things, it's But when they stick to what they're good at, it, it, it's good. It's good. The spray works really well. There's nothing to say about it. I thought it would get clogged or that it would get dripping here and there, but I didn't get any kind of dripping or grossness throughout this project. For someone who has a lot of hand pains, I didn't get any hand pains. It was easy to handle. <laughs> The image stencils are really fun, unlike the letters and numbers, which are 
poopy. I found myself really into those dragons and just go into town with them. Play ability, one of the most important things when it comes to a kit like this. I spent an hour on this silly, simple drawing. I really didn't, I, I didn't see time pass by, so that's a good thing. At $20, this is something I would definitely buy for myself, but at $27, I would hesitate. So price at $20 is the pro. This was actually fun. I, I kept adding details. I wanted to put more stuff on it. I was like, what other stencils do we have? Let me put more of that in there. So for something that's fun, I actually will keep this kit for myself. I end up giving away 95% of the kits I use in these videos, but this one, mine. Mine, 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 mine. This is Crayola, which means that it's easy to clean. So I tried other markers in there and they just wouldn't fit. So they really made sure that only Crayola markers can fit inside. So, washable. Even though it's pretty basic, this kit comes with everything you need to get started right away. You don't have to go out and get more things. Of course, if you want more color, that's something you can add onto it. But for someone who's starting, I think it's pretty complete within itself. With that said, I give this kit an 8 on 10 dorks. This is something I would not hesitate to recommend if you're looking for a simple art and project with markers to do. I had fun with it. It's definitely not an activity you can share because there's only one of it. Unless you battle to the end. Maybe you, you want to. It could make things exciting. I know this video is not salty enough, so if you're looking for a salty video, make sure you check it up here. And if you want to watch a crafty video, make sure you check down here. This week is going to be a really fun crafting video on Friday. For those of you who've been like, but JD, you're not doing crafting videos anymore. I am here for the crafting. No, I do what I want. There's going to be a crafting video for a pretty big project on Friday, and it's a collab. Let's see if you greens can guess who it is. Until then, I will see you in the next video.